is number four from the assignment six. Okay, so you need to um, work on the assignment six soon. Submit it soon. So make sure that. Um... All right, everyone, can you type in the chat for me? Uh, what is the H O mean mu is equal to what? Type in the chat. Uh, let me see. It's up here, right? It's 21. Okay. It's already right there for you guys. Good. So it's 21. You can already see it in the problem. The mean mu means what? What is the name for the mean mu, everyone? I'm just double. Just checking to see if you guys are following. Mu means the population mean. And then what is the number in this box here, everyone? Type in the chat for me. All right. It's also the same as the number in the HO, right? So it's also 21. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so it's also 21. It's also the, the population mean. For the hypothesis, you always use the, the population parameter, okay? like the population mean or population standard deviation. You don't put the, the sample values in the hypothesis okay? because you test the hypothesis about a population. And step two, we're going to do the two tailed test. Okay? And number three, the significance level level alpha. What is the significance level alpha? Everyone type in the chat for me. All right, it should be the alpha is right here, right? Which is the significance level, which is 0 0.05, okay? 0 0.05, right, 0 0.05, okay? All right, let's move on to the next one. We're gonna do the t-test. Uh, why are we doing the t-test, everyone? Because, because the population standard deviation sigma is not known, okay? Is not known. Is not known. So hard to write like this. Yeah. Okay. Or you can say that. You are not given the sigma, right, everyone? You can see that in the problem. You don't see the sigma anywhere. And usually it's better to read the problem first, okay? But in this case, I let you guys um, read it first already. So I'm, I assume that you guys already read it, right? Right, so if the sigma is known, then you would do the, the Z test, okay? But in this case, it's not known. So it's unknown. So you have to do the T test, all right? And step five, find the critical value and determine if um, TOBT falls in the reject or fail to reject region of the no hypothesis. All right. So first you need to find the critical values um, from the table, right? And I showed you guys how to do that earlier. So can you guys tell me again, what do we need in order for you guys to find the T uh, crit, everyone? So the critical value is the T crit. Is the T crit. All right, so what do you need to find the T crit, everyone? Right, the significance level and the, the other chart also, the chart also and the, the N minus one, right? So good, so you guys need to know the the alpha, the alpha is 0 0.05. And then you need to know the degree of freedom, right? The degree of freedom, the degree of freedom is N minus one, N minus one. So N, um, what is N in this case? Everyone type in the chat for me, what is N? It's N minus one. So what is N? All right, good, everyone. 
So n is the sample, right? When they say a sample of something, that means that that is the n, everyone. So it is the 25, 25, 25 minus one, which is 24, right? So the degree of freedom is 24, okay? So we have the degree of freedom 24 and the, the alpha uh, 0 0.05 already. So we can go ahead and look at the T table earlier to find the critical value. All right, let's look at the table. All right, the alpha is 0 0.05. Thanks, 0 0.05. 0.5, which is the same as 5%, is that right? Which is the same as 5%, okay? All right, so you want to look at the 5%, you want to look at the two-tailed test, okay? The first line, and then you look at the 5%. You look at the 5% here. And you look at the degree of, what's the degree of freedom, everyone type in the chat for me. The degree of freedom, 24, degree of freedom is 24, right, okay. 24, 24, you look for 24, all right. If you go down here, you look for 24, which is right here, right? 24, so there's, there's 24 in the table, it's right here, right? Yeah, you can see that this is the number that you need, okay? So it should be two point, yeah, it should be this one, 2.064. Am I correct, everyone? Say yes or no in the um, chat for me, 2.064? Yeah, so T critical value is 2.064, 0.064. And later when you are, uh, when you are, uh, write it um, on the table or on the diagram, you need to have the positive and negative value for that, okay? All right, now we need to, uh, the, we need to calculate the test statistic, okay? The test statistic. And to do that, you need to know the N. What is N again, everyone type in the chat for me? One more time so that I can do it with you guys. N is what? All right, n is is twenty five. Right, n is the sample size, so it should be twenty five. And then the mean mu is is the population mean, which is twenty one. Okay, and the standard deviation is uh, what is the name for the the little s here, everyone? What is the name for the little s here? the little s right here, right? It's the, the sample standard deviation, okay? It should be the sample. So the s is 5.2, 5.2. All right, good. And now you just have to use a formula, is that right? The formula for this one is the TOBT, right? TOBT. TOBT is the test statistic, everyone. Remember that TOBT is different, different from the T grid, okay? All right, so can you guys look for the formula and find it for me? I'm gonna give you guys two minutes to do it. So the formula should be X bar minus the mean mu divided by S divided by the square root of n, is that right? The square root of n, okay. All right, so yeah, go ahead and um, do it for me in two minutes and then give me the answer.
this is divis division, everyone. It's 5.2 divided by the square root of 25, okay? And the square root of 25 is five, right? So it should be, uh, the top one should be 23 minus 21, which is two. And then you can uh, take the reciprocal of the one over square root of 25, which is five, okay? The square root of 25 is five. And you take the reciprocal of that, you move it to the top and then divide it by 5.2. All right. All right, it looks like you guys got it right. Good, so it should be 1.92. Uh, Good, everyone. 1.92, okay. Good, good, good. All right. 1.92 and then now you already have everything right you just need to draw the the diagram and determine whether or not the test statistic falls in the rejection region or the fail to reject region okay so i can now move it down here i can draw the diagram down here for you guys and you always want to draw the two tails okay and then the the T crit is at the border uh, at the border of the left tail in the middle section, and then also at the border of the right tail in the, in the middle section. So the T crit is right here. What ne a negative? What here over here, everyone? Negative what over here for the critical value? Can you guys tell me? The T crit. Type in the chat for me what value is, is at the border right here. The T crit, right? It's this value right here, everyone, that you just found from the table. So it should be negative 2.064, okay? 064. I'm struggling writing uh, using the cursor. It's kind of hard. All right, and what value is, is it's right here, everyone. It's at the border on the right here. Type in the chat for me. It should be the positive value, right? The number on the left is, is negative, so the number on the right should be the same, but positive, okay? 064, 064, okay. All right, and um, you can fill out the area later, but for now, and remember that if, um, the test statistic falls in the, the shaded region or the two tails, then it is the rejection region. Okay, that means that we have to reject the no. So if it falls in the, the right tail, then we're gonna reject the no, okay? Or the left one also. We reject the no. And then if it falls in the the middle section, then we fail to reject it. Okay, we fail to reject it. Reject the no, okay, we fail to reject the no. All right, so now we look at the, now we need to look at the test statistic, which is the T-O-B-T here, everyone. Now the T-O-B-T, the T-O-B-T is a test statistic, okay? It's different from the T-crit, remember that they're not the same, okay? The TOBT, you just found the formula and you found it to be 1.92. 1.92. Is this 1.92, everyone? I cannot read in my writing either. All right, because it's so hard to uh, write it. Okay, everyone, now we need to determine which region it falls in. Um, Starting from the left, uh, I'm going to just name it region one and then two and then three. Can you guys tell me the me in the chat which region it falls in? The, the TOBT. Okay. Type in the chat for me. You compare the 1.92 uh, to the T grids, the 2.064 or the negative 2.064. Like, uh, is it less than, greater than, or between those two values? 
What do you guys think? Yeah, so remember that the mean, the mean for the critical values is always zero. If you convert the, the mean to the, the T crit, then it's going to be zero. Okay, so you can see that the 2.064 is on the right, right? So 1.92 has to be somewhere over here. Is that right, everyone? It should be, should be less than two. Yeah, yeah, so it should be over here. Yeah, so it should be in region two. Okay, it should be in region two. All right, so yeah, so it should be in between. So what is your conclusion here, everyone? Do you reject or fail to reject the no? Can you guys type in the chat for me? All right, so you fail to reject the no, right? So you fail to reject the no. That means that um, we have the, the conclusions at the bottom right here already. So you have to choose one of the two options here, everyone. Uh, okay, so this is option one, okay? And then this is option two, right? Which one are you choosing here, everyone? Which one do you choose here? Number one and number two, you have two conclusions. Which one are you guys choosing? Number one. And number two. All right, it should be number two, everyone. It should be number two, right? You can see that the no hypothesis is not rejected. That means that you fail to reject it or you fail to reject it, right? So that means that there is no statistically significant difference between the two means, the population mean mu and the sample mean x bar. Okay, so that's the conclusion. You have to choose between one of them. All right, so that's how you do a problem like this. 